Hi there Tech Savvy Seniors. In this video, we're going to learn how to listen to an audiobook that we have already borrowed using the Hoopla app. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is unlock our iPhone. We will do that by swiping up on the bottom center of the screen. We will do that now. Now, we need to find and open the Hoopla app. I do not see the icon for the Hoopla app on this screen, so I'm going to swipe to my next screen. And here I can see the icon for my Hoopla app. I will open it now. To find our audiobook that we've already borrowed, we can go to the Borrowed section. This will show anything that we have borrowed in the Hoopla app. So we will tap that borrowed section now. It's in the upper left hand corner of the app. And here we can see that we have borrowed the Hunger Games audiobook. We can also see that we have this book borrowed for the next 20 days. To open that book and start listening to it, we will hit the play button. We will tap that now. This is a copyrighted work. Unauthorized copying or distribution is a crime. Okay, the book has automatically started playing. To pause the book, we will hit the pause button. Okay, on this screen, you will see a few controls to allow you to go to different sections of the book pause and play, and do various things. First you will see the play button in the center. You can tap this to begin playing the book. Then you can tap it again to pause the audio. Next we have the skip chapter function. If you tap the right arrow, you will skip to the next chapter in the book. I will tap that now. So we have skipped from the introduction to chapter one. If I would like to skip to chapter two, I can tap that again to skip to chapter two. We will tap that now. If I want to go to the previous chapter, I can tap on the left arrow. We will tap that now to go back to chapter one. You will also see a circle with an arrow with the number 15 in the bottom right and left hand of the screen. Tapping one of these will allow you to go forward or backward 15 seconds. So if we tap the play button, Part one. we will start listening to the, the audio. And if we would like to skip Chapter forward one. 15 seconds, we can tap the 15 when second button up, now. The other side of the bed, this is the day of the reaping. I'm going to hit our pause button here in the center. Now let's say I overlook something or didn't hear something correctly. I can tap to go back 15 seconds. We will tap that now. You will also notice a white circle on a scroll bar. You can hold this circle to move to any section in the book as long as you see the in book option selected here. So let's say we want to scroll about halfway through the book. We can hold our finger down on this white circle and drag it to the center. We will do that now. And we're about halfway into the book. One thing I would like to point out is you see that there are selectors for in book or you can tap here to see in chapter and that will show you the progress within a specific chapter. So if we hit our play button, you will see that there are 20 minutes left in this chapter. However, if we go back to see how much time is in the book, we can tap the in book option. 
we will tap that now. And if we hit play again, and then I will hit pause, you will see that the timestamp along the scroll bar has changed to show your position in the overall book. So there are some more advanced features as well when you're listening to audiobooks. We will review those now. You can actually add bookmarks. So let's say there's an interesting section within the book that you have listened to. You can tap the bookmark icon in the upper right hand corner of the phone to bookmark the position that you were listening to. So we will tap that now. And you will see it says bookmark added. So let's continue to listen. Actually, I will skip to the next chapter by pressing the chapter skip button. Okay, and I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, add one more bookmark. Again, we will tap the bookmark icon in the upper right hand corner. And to review our bookmarks and perhaps add notes or context, we can see them all in the bookmarks section. If you look to the bottom of the screen, the third icon from the left, the bookmarks icon at the bottom will show you all of the bookmarks that you have created while listening to your book. We will tap that now. And you will see that we have created two bookmarks. It shows you where in the book the bookmark is, the chapter, and the time. And you will see a little edit function here to the right. If we tap that, it will allow us to add notes. So we just added a note for ourselves there for later. We will hit the save button. And to get back out of this little bookmark section, we simply hit the down arrow in the upper left hand corner of this screen. We'll tap that now. You can also see a list of chapters by selecting the chapters icon, which is the second icon from the left on the bottom of the screen. We will tap that now. You can skip to any chapter within the book by simply pressing on the chapter. So let's scroll down our list here and jump to chapter 15. I will tap chapter 15 now. It is positioned me into chapter 15 and I can hit play to start listening to the book. Chapter 15. All right, we're going to pause that. I would also like to demonstrate that you can set a sleep timer to listen to a book for a set amount of time before you go to sleep. You can tap the sleep timer menu button here in the bottom left hand corner. Just tap on the time. and then tap the upper left hand corner with the bottom arrow. And now you can see a timer counting down for your sleep timer. To turn off the sleep timer, you can tap the sleep timer menu button again here in the bottom left hand corner. And you can just tap off. Then to get back out of this menu, tap the upper left hand corner with the down arrow. You can also adjust the speed at which the book is played back. For some people the speed is too fast, for others it's too slow. So if we want to play this book at a slower speed for example, we can tap our speed button here in the bottom right hand corner of the menu. And we can slow our speed down to half speed here. Or here at the very bottom, we can hold our finger on this white dot and move it along the bar to create a custom playback speed. So here, I'm going to play it back at 
87% of the original playback speed, so slightly slower. I can go up to the upper left hand corner of the screen and press the down arrow to get back out of this. And if you hit play, it is playing at a slower playback speed than it was originally read. I'm going to hit pause. And if you are a speed listener, you can go back down to the speed section here in the bottom right hand corner. We'll tap that. And you can go at two times the playback speed, for example. We're going to get back out of this menu by tapping the top left down arrow. And if you hit play, all the things I dread for others manifest in such vivid. You will hear that it's playing back at double the speed. All right, I'm going to hit pause. I will now return this to the normal playback speed by again going to the bottom right hand corner, tapping speed, and then tapping 1x. That is the normal playback speed. And then we tap the upper left hand corner with the down arrow to get back out of this. You can also listen to this book without your display on. So if you hit play and turn off your phone, goes into this lock screen mode, but you can also turn it fully off and it will continue to play. And you can pause it directly from your lock screen here and you can even resume playback from your lock screen by pressing the play button. To unlock the phone and go back into the app, just swipe up on the bottom center of the screen. We will pause the playback here. And to get out of this book and go back into the Hoopla app, you simply press the top left down arrow. And that will take you back into the app to read other books, check out something else, or just browse what's available. If you would like to go back into this book and listen to it again, simply go to the borrowed section here. We will tap that now. Find your book and hit play. It will remember where you left off playback. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos from the Tech Savvy Senior.